I'm Edie Lampasona, and welcome to the creative process of altering, embellishing, and enhancing your papers. In addition to fluid acrylics, we'll also be using so not so common items such as spices, roots, insects, and some Sumie painting. You'll notice behind me there's some very opulent papers, one of a kind. And that's what you want to do as an artist. You want to make it personal and make it your work. And what I like to do is just mist my rust. I don't mean one of those that shoot out like this. I mean a mist. See the difference? You want to mist it. What we're going to do in this segment now is I'm using some golden fluid acrylics and I just poured it in a little styrofoam plate here. And then I'm taking some water and I'm mixing it in to a consistency of, I would say, milk. Again, from the center out. You'll notice there's crevices going on here. That's the crinkling of the plastic bags. Okay, what I've done here is laid a piece of texture down. Take a piece of tissue paper. And in this case, what I'm going to do is put the smooth side up. And that's only for this demo. Because what you want to do is when you take your graphite stick and you want to go across the surface, you'd rather use a smoother side and let the rougher side be down. I've done some beautiful texturous pieces of manhole covers. In fact, I've taken my class out on a field trip doing manhole covers. Um, particular walls, uh, floors that have some kind of texture are beautiful, uh, certain barks of trees. But in this case, I'm going to be just using, uh, actually I got this at the dollar store. You'd be amazed what you find at the dollar store. In fact, I start all my supply shopping at the dollar store before I go to the art stores. You can get tissue paper there, 40 sheets for a dollar. Can't go wrong with that. The characters that I'm using here have the English version below. So uh, you don't want to just write something that you're not sure what you're writing. Get the ones that have the English versions below or the American -er. Again, I'm putting my weights out, holds the paper. Now, apparently I got a little ink here. Oh, this is from the prior inking process. Remember some of the other demonstrations I showed you? You can burn the edges here. You can dye the edges. You can ink on top of them with nature items. Remember, you don't have to use them just as is. All these techniques I'm showing you are very intermingable. Intermingable, I think that's a word. If not, I just made it up. <laughs>
You notice I was really kind of quiet when you do this. It's really not something that you want to speak, you know, right brain, left brain. It's more of a meditative, actually a dance. A lot of fun. Sumier. So your materials there, again, very easy, felt, preferably black, tissue paper, or any kind of kutso or rice paper, your sumier brushes. And uh, what I didn't show you was our bamboo. Piece of bamboo that's cut to the shape, which can also make some great line work. And this goes and goes and goes. And you notice it gets lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. But it just keeps going. It's like the Ever Ready battery. So you can make some beautiful line work with this. For any further information about my workshops or classes, please go to my website, edlampasona.com. And it's been a pleasure being with you. Thank you.